Ever wondered what mysterious events occur right here on Earth's surface? Let's start with Fire Whirls, a captivating spectacle that dances between the realms of beauty and destruction. Also known as fire tornadoes, these twisters of flame occur during wildfires. Imagine a spinning column of air engulfed in a swirling inferno. This terrifying yet mesmerizing sight is a result of intense heat and turbulent winds combining, creating a vortex that pulls the flames upwards. These whirls can be seen in any part of the world where wildfires occur, making them a global phenomenon. Next, let's shift our gaze to something a little cooler, the snow rollers. These are naturally formed cylindrical snow formations that look like rolled up snow blankets. Picture a large snowball, but instead of being a solid sphere, it's hollow in the middle. The creation of these peculiar formations requires a delicate balance of temperature, ice, snow and wind. When the conditions are just right, the wind carves out these rollers in the snow, leaving behind a landscape dotted with these natural sculptures. These formations are primarily found in the colder parts of North America and Northern Europe. Finally, let's illuminate our discussion with the Catatumbo Lightning, an electrifying performance that lights up the night sky. This atmospheric phenomenon occurs in Venezuela, where lightning strikes almost continuously, often throughout the night. The spectacle is attributed to a unique mix of wind patterns and the distinctive topography of the area. The lightning illuminates the sky over the mouth of the Catatumbo River, where it meets Lake Maracaibo. This dazzling display is so regular that it's even been used as a navigational aid for ships. These ground phenomena are just the beginning. They are a testament to the diverse, dynamic and sometimes dramatic events that take place on the surface of our planet. Now that we've seen what happens on the ground, let's ascend into the sky. As we rise above the Earth's surface, more wonders await us. The lower atmosphere, the layer of air closest to the ground, is a stage for spectacular phenomena that often go unnoticed. Among these are fog bows, hole punch clouds and mamatus clouds. Fog bows or white rainbows are similar to their more colorful counterparts, but they appear in foggy conditions. Unlike rainbows, fog bows lack vibrant hues. This is due to the small size of the water droplets in fog which scatter light in a different way. The result is a bow that is often white or faintly colored. You're most likely to spot a fog bow on a foggy day when the sun is low in the sky. Next, let's look upward to the high altitude clouds where you may spot a hole punch cloud. These are circular gaps that sometimes appear in the cloud cover. They're formed when ice crystals in the cloud fall down, converting to water droplets as they descend. This process leaves behind a visible hole, creating a spectacle that seems almost otherworldly. Finally, we have the Mamatus clouds. Known for their distinct bulging shapes, these pouch-like formations often appear after a severe thunderstorm. The name Mamatus comes from the Latin word for breast, a nod to their rounded, hanging appearance. Despite their ominous look, Mamatus clouds are usually harmless. They're a visual testament to the turbulent mixing of cool and warm air that occurs in the aftermath of a storm. From the ground to the skies, the lower atmosphere is teeming with wonders. Each of these phenomena is a testament to the complex and beautiful interplay of elements that make up our planet's weather systems. It's a reminder that there's always something extraordinary to discover if only we remember to look up. From the lower atmosphere, we now ascend even higher. In the middle of our atmosphere, a different spectacle unfolds. Here, our journey takes us through a realm of atmospheric wonders that are as enigmatic as they are enchanting. First up, we have sun dogs. These bright spots on either side of the sun are caused by the reflection, refraction and dispersion of sunlight by ice crystals in the atmosphere. These phantom suns can be seen when the sun is near the horizon, creating a halo effect around our star. It's like witnessing a sunrise or sunset with a celestial twin, a breathtaking spectacle that can leave one awestruck. Next, we have St. Elmo's Fire. Despite its ominous name, it is not fire. Instead, it's a weather phenomenon where a visible blue or violet glow appears near pointed objects during thunderstorms. This eerie light show is caused by the ionization of air in the atmosphere. It's been a mariner's tale for centuries, a ghostly light that dances on the masts of ships during stormy weather. 
This ethereal fire, named after the patron saint of sailors, adds a touch of the supernatural to our atmospheric curiosities. Finally, let's talk about the green flash. This rare optical phenomenon occurs just after sunset or right before sunrise. It's caused by the refraction of sunlight in the Earth's atmosphere. For a brief moment, the sun appears green. It's a fleeting spectacle, elusive and enchanting. A green ember bidding adieu to the day or welcoming the dawn. It's as if Mother Nature herself winks at us, reminding us of the beauty that lies in transience. These marvels of the middle atmosphere show us that the sky is not just a blue canvas, but a stage where nature performs its most breathtaking acts. Each spectacle, each phenomenon, is a testament to the incredible complexity and beauty of our world. With the middle atmosphere behind us, now we venture into the upper atmosphere. The journey continues and the marvels are far from over, so buckle up and let's soar higher into the mysteries of our atmosphere. In the upper reaches of our atmosphere, the mysteries deepen. Ever gaze towards the heavens during a thunderstorm and caught sight of a strange, ethereal glow? You may have been lucky enough to witness sprites and blue jets, two types of electrical discharges that occur above thunderclouds. Sprites appearing as fleeting red flashes dance above the thunderclouds, while blue jets, true to their name, shoot up from the storm's top in dazzling blue streaks. Caused by the intense electrical activity within the storm, these atmospheric fireworks are usually visible from space or high-altitude aircrafts. Now imagine a solitary cloud stretching across the sky as far as your eye can see. This is the morning glory cloud, a rare meteorological phenomenon most famously observed in the Gulf of Carpentaria in Australia. Resembling a colossal rolling wave, this long tube-like cloud can reach up to several hundred kilometers in length. The exact conditions needed for its formation are still a topic of research, but a combination of sea breezes and humidity is believed to play a significant role. Finally, let's turn to one of the most mysterious phenomena of our atmosphere, ball lightning. This is no ordinary lightning bolt. Witnesses describe it as a glowing spherical object that moves erratically through the air before abruptly vanishing. Despite numerous theories, the exact cause of this phenomenon remains unknown, adding an extra layer of mystery to our atmospheric explorations. These are just a few examples of the incredible phenomena that occur in the upper atmosphere. Each one is a testament to the complex and dynamic nature of our planet's weather systems and the many mysteries they hold. Now that we've journeyed through the atmosphere, let's venture into the cold depths of the ocean. Beneath the waves, a chilling spectacle awaits. In the coldest corners of our planet's oceans, a unique phenomenon known as brinicles takes place. Brinicles, or icicles of death as they're dramatically known, are underwater icicles formed in a mesmerizing yet deadly process. Picture this. You're in the polar regions where the seawater is just above freezing. Up above, the sea ice contains pockets of very cold, salty brine. As this brine leaks down into the sea, it's so cold that it freezes the seawater it comes into contact with. This forms a descending tube of ice, a brinicle, that grows towards the sea floor. The brinicle is a captivating spectacle, but it's not a welcoming one for the sea floor's inhabitants. The super cold, salty water is lethal for the sea creatures, unfortunate enough to get caught in its path. Within this icy grip, starfish and sea urchins are flash-frozen, creating an eerie underwater scene of frozen life. The formation of brinicles is a delicate dance between temperature, salinity and time. It requires precise conditions. The sea ice must be thin enough for the brine to leak out, yet thick enough to trap it. The sea water must be near freezing but not frozen. This delicate balance makes brinicles relatively rare, adding to their mystique. Brinicles are most commonly observed around the polar regions, particularly in the Arctic and Antarctic. Divers and underwater cameras have captured this phenomenon, offering an awe-inspiring glimpse into a world few have seen. It's a stark reminder of the harsh realities of life in our planet's coldest waters and a testament to the extraordinary power of nature. We've journeyed from the Earth's surface to the upper atmosphere and into the depths of the ocean, discovering incredible phenomena along the way. From the vibrant spectacle of sprites and blue jets to the haunting beauty of brinicles, the natural world never ceases to amaze with its capacity for wonder and awe. Our journey through these astonishing phenomena has come to an end. We've traversed the ground to the upper atmosphere, exploring sprites, moonbows, fire whirls, and more. Our world is full of extraordinary wonders. 
Thank you for watching. If you've been captivated, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more mind-bending content, and ring the notification bell. Stay curious, stay inspired. This is Curio Nexus signing off.